Hello everyone and welcome to Underwater. In this video you are going to learn how to make a thumbnail with KineMaster from start to finish. So make sure you don't skip any part so you can maximize your results. Also, at the end of this video I'm going to give you my personal trick to enhance your thumbnail to stand out from the crowd. Without any further ado, let's go under. To make it easy for you to follow along, I am going to split this tutorial in segments. So first, you are going to create the thumbnail background, then you are going to create the text background, then the text, then the logo and graphics, and finally the shadows. Okay, so the first thing that you're gonna do is you're gonna open KineMaster, you're gonna tap on the plus button and you're gonna select your aspect ratio. This case is gonna be 16 by nine because this is for YouTube. Next, you're gonna go to image. You're gonna choose any color because you can change it later on. Then you're gonna tap okay. Now you're gonna highlight your clip you're gonna tap on colors and we're gonna select the green color. You're gonna tap okay. Then we're gonna okay it. We're gonna go to layer. Then we're going to effect all the way down. And we're gonna tap on Mosaic. If you don't have Mosaic, you go to the KineMaster Asset Store and you can get it there, regardless if you have the paid version or the free version. So in this case, I'm gonna use a uh, cube. So we're gonna go back and we're gonna change this, uh, we're gonna change the shape of cube to uh, round. And we're gonna feather the edges all the way to 50. We're gonna make it bigger and we're gonna position it on the corner. I'm gonna tap OK, and we're gonna tap Layer again. I'm gonna go to Effect, and we're gonna go all the way down, and we're gonna use our Basic Effect. Now we're gonna tap on Gaussian Blur, and we're gonna tap OK. We're gonna make it all the way uh, to fit the screen, and we are all set. Now for step number two, we're gonna create the background for the text. So we're gonna tap on layer, we're gonna tap on media, and we're gonna tap on image. We're gonna choose uh, any color because we can change it later again. We're gonna reposition it to the side, we're gonna okay it, we're gonna do the same thing again. We're gonna tap on media, we're gonna tap on image, and choose another one. Same thing again, media, and now we have our three squares. All right, so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna change the, uh, the uh, color of, of each one of them. So now we have our three uh, text background and that part is done. Now the next part is gonna be to create the text. So again, you're gonna tap on layer you're gonna tap on text, and you're gonna write whatever title uh, you're gonna use for your thumbnail. So I'm gonna use how to make a thumbnail with, and I'm gonna use the logo of KineMaster. So how, gonna make it bigger, position it in there, and I'm gonna change the color of it. So I'm gonna go to color, and I'm gonna tap on black. So I'm gonna change the font as well. So I'm gonna go to font, I'm gonna go to uh, send serif, and I'm gonna use this one on top. You can use any one. If you don't like anything you see here, again, you can go to the KineMaster Asset Store and change it. So now let me make it a little bit bigger, and that one is all set. Now the next step is going to be to add the graphics and logo. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna tap on layers, you're gonna go to media, and you're gonna go whatever it is that you have your logo or whatever it is that you wanna put or add to your thumbnail. Tap on layer, you tap on media, you go to images and you tap on uh, the color black. 
That one you gonna you wanna keep it that way. Then you're gonna tap on cropping. You're gonna make it smaller all the way. Then you're gonna tap on mask and you're gonna turn it on. And you're gonna feather all the edges all the way to 50. So now that shadow you're gonna place it. I'll tap OK and highlight it again. And that shadow you're gonna place it at the bottom. Twist it a little bit so it makes sense visually. And go to alpha and dim the opacity just a little bit. So you have the shadow for uh, the main thumbnail, for the, for the main uh, text. So now you're gonna make a copy of that shadow and you're gonna split it around all of the uh, edges of the text that you have on the screen. So now I'm gonna create a shadow for the arrow. So I create separation from the arrow and the, and the KineMaster logo. So I'm gonna tap on layer, I'm gonna tap on media, I'm gonna tap on image, select that one, go to cropping, turn, it, turn the mask on, go to shape, and turn it into a triangle. So if you are satisfied with your thumbnail, all you need to do is you need to tap on capture, then you tap on capture and save, and your thumbnail is gonna go straight to your library. Also, and this is very important, remember to minimize the use of YouTube colors like red, white, and black. Instead, use vibrant colors like green. Thank you for watching. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't. Activate the notification bell. Follow me on Instagram and Twitter. And I will see you next time on the water.